Before us is an IGCSC physics paper the year October or November 2010. And uh, we shall be looking at just the first question, okay? So it reads, a young athlete has a mass of 42 kg on a day when there is no wind. She runs a 100 meter race in 14.2 seconds. A sketch graph, which is not drawn to scale, shows her speed during the race, okay? The A plus says calculate the acceleration of the athlete during the first three seconds of the race. So acceleration, as we all know, is equal to the change in velocity divided by time. And that is what your, your final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by time. So the final velocity there is eight minus zero divided by three. And that gives you, using your calculator, eight divided by three, you have 2.7 meters per second square. Roman two says the accelerating force on the athlete during the first three seconds. So your accelerating force is just equal to MA, okay? And that is, What's the mass? The mass that should be, is it 42? That's the mass there, 42. 42 times the acceleration you just calculated, 2.7. That gives you 42 times 2.7. So you have one one three newtons, okay? And now the, the speed with which she crosses the finishing line, the speed. This is a bit technical. Oh. Now looking at this graph, what you asked to calculate is so this portion of your graph, okay? So you can call this your V1, your V2, all right? Taking into consideration that this is your U, please, all right? So this is one of the speeds, the top speed, and this is the finishing speed. Okay, so this is the top speed, and this, this is the finishing speed. Good. Now, secondly, all this, the area under the graph is the total distance, which is your 100 meters. To, so take note on that. That's your 100 meters. And you can call this a portion A of your graph, and this is portion B. So that's what we're going to use now. Search that word your S, that's a total distance, which is what your A plus your B should be equal to 100 meters. Okay. So this implies that what is your A? The half base times height plus half what sum of parallel sides V1 plus V2 and your heights should be equal to what 100, okay? Now this is, you can call it your height too, okay? You can call this your height too. I'll show you what is height too. This is your height too here. This portion is your height too. All right, which is what? 14.2 minus three, and that is equal to 14.2 minus three should be about 11 point something. That's 11.2. 11 11.2 point two. 11 point two seconds, all right? So that is your height too. Good, so let's continue. Now, what is your base here? Your base here for your A, take note your base is three and your height is eight, okay? So your base is three times three. Times your height, which is eight. 
plus half. Your V1 is 8 plus your V2, which is what we are looking for. And your height 2, which is what we just calculated, 11.2. And all that should be 100. Okay. So half of this is 4 times, that's 12 to your half. 8 plus V2, 11.2 should be equal to 100 minus the 12. Is that okay? 100 minus 12. And all this is 88. So in other words, your 8 plus your V2 should be equal to 88 times 2 divided by 11.2 such that your V2 or your finishing speed is 88 times 2 divided by 11.2 minus your 8. Okay. And that gives you 88 times 2 divide 11.2 minus 8. Plus that gives you 7.7 .7 meters per seconds this is speeds okay so that's that about that uh, finishing speed now the last part of this question one says suggest two differences that might be seen in the graph if there had been a strong wind opposing the runners in the race the first thing uh you need to say here is now if you have a strong wind the total time, okay, the total time will be longer, right? So you can see total time, total time will be longer, all right? And if the total time will be longer, then your top speed, all right, will take a longer time, top speed takes a longer time, okay? It's a longer time, all right? Or you, you're gonna have a lower top speed. So top speed lowers, in other words. So let me just change it there. Top speed lowers, top speed lowers, okay? And what next? You could also say that uh, the, the, the slope becomes less what steep, okay? So the, the, the slope is what? Slope is less steep, okay? Or in other words, you have what? Less acceleration. Less acceleration. Does that make sense? So that remember in your speed time graph, so if this is V and this is what C, so the, the, the slope here is your acceleration, okay? So this is the acceleration because you just have your V over C. That's the acceleration, okay? So you could also tell them that, uh, so you, you, you're gonna have what? What about the deceleration? The deceleration will be what? will be greater, okay? So the solution will be greater. The solution will be greater. That's it, all right? That's it about that question, all right? And uh, if you have any doubts about this question or any aspect of motion, please leave us a comment and we will get to say that this will be the end of our presentation. See you in our next video. And please don't forget to subscribe in our channel. See ya.